guys. Today we're in a different area, obviously. I'm going to be bringing you kind of a different video. Uh, this is just regular tech that I do in my office. I'm going to be doing car tech. So essentially, I uh, have borrowed a 2016 Z06 Corvette and I'm going to be showing you all the tech features that this car offers uh, as well as, you know, driving around a little bit, showing you guys how it sounds and uh, yeah, just kind of showing you what this thing's all about. So this thing has a lot of cool features inside of it. Uh, it's got Apple CarPlay, it's got cameras everywhere, uh, it's got a lot of different features it has to change the side of the car, how the car drives, everything like that. So I'm going to be showing you all that stuff and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, so let's check it out. Also, also, before, quick, quick disclaimer here. I don't know if you heard me a second ago, but once again, this is not my car, okay? So when I'm driving around like a girl, I'm not like hauling ass, don't get mad at me because I'm driving like a girl. It's not mine, I don't wanna wreck this thing, I don't have the money to repair this thing. So yeah, I just borrowed this, just for this video. Someone was kind enough to let me use it. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of a cool video, that's kind of different. Um, so yeah, once again, this is not my vehicle. So we're gonna drive like a, like a baby. I'm gonna baby the car, I don't wanna wreck the thing. We're gonna baby the car, but I'm gonna also show you all the cool things that this car has to offer. So I uh, hope you enjoy it, and let's check it out. So just a quick overview, this car does have Bluetooth 3.0, heads up display, three USB ports, one 3.5 millimeter audio jack for the auxiliary audio, two cigarette lighters. Some of the Corvettes do offer Wi-Fi, but this car does not. An eight inch touchscreen, as well as hand gestures and voice recognition, Apple CarPlay, and the remote link app for your phone, which allows you to start the car, honk the horn, unlock the car, stuff like that. It does have engine sound management and the PDR performance data recorder. Okay, so first off, we're just gonna touch on all the things you can do with the deck. So you have audio, phone, nav, settings, Pandora, weather. Those are all pretty obvious things most cars have. I guess most cars don't have weather. If you click on weather, that gives you, you know, you have your different forecasts, your five day, hourly, uh, the route that you're taking, uh, different locations, go to your maps, uh, you get the menu button, do different things there. If you go back home, uh, Pandora, which auto cars are getting Pandora nowadays, and then obviously audio, phone, nav, settings, stuff like that, you can change things around. Um, but the thing this car has is uh, Apple CarPlay, so you have here, as long as you have your phone plugged in via the USB, you can work your iPhone through this. Um, so that's pretty cool. You get your phone, music, maps, messages, now playing, podcast, audiobook, Spotify. The next cool thing I'm going to show you guys is the PDR. that stands for Performance Data Recorder. So with this, you have to have a memory card plugged into the slot in the glove compartment. And once you have that plugged in, you can record your drives. Essentially, is what this does. So there's a camera above the dash, kind of by the windshield, that records everything that you can see, as well as a mic inside the car that can record your voice. So you can actually record things and talk over the recording. So to do this, you just press start recording, and you immediately start recording whatever your car is seeing. So it's essentially just everything you can see on the road, the car records. So if I click stop recording, there we go, dismiss. If I go to define finish line, Basically, you pull your car up to wherever you want the finish line to be, press mark finish line, and that will tell the car that that's where the lap will start and finish. So if you mark your finish line, and then you go back to wherever you want to start from, and then I guess start, you can go through that finish line multiple times, and you can do laps, record lap times, all that kind of stuff, which is really cool. And if we go back, we have recorded sessions. So you can, you can watch the recorded sessions that you have done previously. So like if I go down here and like click on one of these, it just shows what I've been doing. And you can listen to the audio, which is cool too. So this overlay is called the track overlay. In the lower left, you have your G-forces, then you have your RPMs along the bottom. Over here on the right, you have the steering angle, which just monitors how far you're steering left and right. Uh, the top right shows you what gear you're in, as well as like how hard you're pressing the pedal down and the breakdown. Um, then right in the middle, you have your miles per hour, and then it just says GPS tracking map up in, the, up, in, up in the upper left. And if we go back home, you go to PDR. These are all your recorded sessions. You can choose your video overlay. So you have performance timing, track, which is the one we just saw, sport, and no overlay. And then obviously, if you go to settings here, you can do valet mode record. So if you're valeting your car, you can do valet mode recording, which allows the car to record where your car is being taken during the valet, make sure the valet is not like, you know, driving your car around or whatever. And then you just software information. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the car on. Hopefully it's not crazy loud in the background. 
because this car is very loud. Like, let me just show you how loud the car actually is. So the car can be pretty damn loud, but hopefully it's not too loud in the background. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the settings. Uh, you've got time and date, and then you have driving mode. So if you click on driving mode, you do engine sound management, and this actually tells you, or this, this allows you to change how much the engine noise affects like the inside of the car. So if you do auto mode selector, that means that when you change the mode down here, which you guys can't see this right now, but I'll show you later, right below the gear shifter, you have a mode select, which allows you to change from tour to eco to like weather if you're doing like if you're on like snow or something like that sport mode as well as track mode so when you change between these it changes how much engine noise you get while you're in the car so I don't know if you guys can hear I don't know how well this mic is picking all this up but I will just go from we'll go to we'll go from stealth which makes the inside of the car as quiet as it can be and then you go tour which I can't tell the difference between the sport I don't know if you guys heard that it's very noticeable when you're actually in the car and in sport to track pretty much the same thing can't really tell the difference but say you're in say okay say you're in track and you hit the gas that's what it sounds like now if you go from stealth and hit the gas nothing like when you're in track so this really does change the engine sound uh, really cool, and then you have your steering, which just lets you change how you're steering. The, the feedback on the on the steering wheel, stuff like that. If you're interested in messing with that, you can obviously do that kind of stuff. Um, you've got your language, obviously you can change the language of the car. Um, valet mode, which pretty much just turns all this off, where it turns the entire screen off. So when someone's valeting the car, they can't go through your stuff. Um, if we go down one more. We have radio settings, vehicle, you sort of vehicle. You've got your climate and air quality, comfort and convenience. Uh, you can turn the lighting inside the car off. Um, remote lock, unlock and start. You can turn that off if you want to. Um, and you've got Apple CarPlay. That's essentially just turning it on and off. And managing the devices that are plugged up to it. And then you can return to factory settings and you've got soft information. So we're going to go back here. We're going to go over one. Text, auto cars have that. Basically, you just click this, it goes right to Apple CarPlay. Um, if you go back here, you have OnStar. Okay, so another cool feature this car has is the camera. So if I click on camera, this pulls up a lower left, lower right, and kind of an above view of your front bumper. So with this car being so low, when you pull it to a curb, you can actually damage the front of the car with how low the car is. You'll just hit the curb versus you know the front of the car going over the curb like most cars do. So what this camera allows you to do is pull up to the curb just far enough so you're not like hanging out in the street but you won't damage the front bumper. So this yellow line indicates where you should stop. So once you see whatever is in front of you, see if I screwed up a little bit. Say that was the curb, stop right there. If it goes past this red line, you're getting very close to the front bumper and you're probably gonna hit it. So you wanna stop right near this yellow line and that allows you to not damage the front bumper of the car. And then this lower left camera kind of gives you a view out to the left as well as this lower right one obviously, kind of a view out to the right. To make sure you're not too close to something on the right or left, which is really nice because you don't want to hurt this car. Kind of an expensive vehicle, you know, so you don't want to mess anything up. <laughs> but another cool thing about this car is it has, you know, I think it has five different cameras on here. No, it has four. It has two lower left that you just saw, one up top to view the entire front bumper. It has one above the dash, which is the PDR camera, and then it has the backup camera, which is really cool. So the last thing on the home screen I'm going to show you guys is the traffic app so if you click on traffic this just shows you you know how fast you can get different places what roads are shut down um, which is very nice pull this up this is just your different stations that you have go back home and that is pretty much everything as far as just the home screen goes so next I'm just gonna try to show you guys around the car granted I don't have a very wide angle lens on this camera so you're gonna be able to see a lot but I'm gonna show you as much as I can uh, kind of just the cool, I'm going to try to keep this pretty much tech related, so anything that I think is cool as far as tech on this car goes, I'm going to try to show you guys. So first, let me pull this camera up. First, we're going to go with the first thing you see when you get in the car, the dash. So, let me focus this thing in, here we go. So this entire screen right in the middle is all digital. So you can change anything you want, you know, you do this, all your different options. 
Shows you everything you could ever want to know about this car right from this screen, which is very nice. The two on the left and right, they are not digital, but this one, this big screen in the middle is all digital. And then the next thing I want to show you is I think the coolest part about this entire car. So while you're driving, if you don't want to look down at the digital screen down here, you can just look through your windshield and what happens is there's a little screen up at the front that reflects this right, let me see if I can point this out to you, right here. It reflects that off the front windshield. So essentially instead of looking down at this, you can just look straight forward while you're driving. You don't have to look around anything at all. It just reflects this up onto your actual windshield. So what this does is it tells you your speed, your RPMs, what gear you're in, stuff like that. It kind of it, it does G4 stuff, but nothing crazy. It's just very, very nice. It's called Heads Up Display. And they've had these in Corvettes for quite a while, and I love this thing. So this is the driving mode selector. So you just flip it like this, and it changes what mode you're in. And I'll show you guys what that changes up here. Okay, so it's right there at the bottom. So if I go left, it changes the eco, and then weather, and then you just keep going left. You go back to track sport and then back to tour okay so considering this is a corvette a lot of you guys probably do want to hear the car so i'm going to do a quick rev and then that's pretty much going to wrap up the video Okay, so right here, um, something happened with the audio, so you should be hearing the car as well as all the rev and you know me talking, but I guess when I imported the file, the audio didn't come with it. I'm not really sure what happened, but I assure you the car was very loud right here. This is really cool, um, but yeah, just kind of showing you how everything looks when you're actually driving around, how all the different gauges look, but yeah, sorry about the audio. All right, well, that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It does help the channel grow. If you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're going to be doing new videos like this, uh, a lot of different, like, cool stuff, um, just different things. Everything's going to be tech related though. Uh, if you have any questions about this or anything else, just drop me a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.